What is up, everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And in honor of Valentine's Day, I thought I would take the time to tell you about my incredible, amazing girlfriend. And the real topic is healthy relationships, okay? And for those of you who have been watching my channel recently, I've done a lot of stuff on toxic relationships, bad relationships, the broken picker series, picking the wrong people. So I thought it would be a great time to talk about healthy relationships and the healthiest relationship I've ever been in. If you've watched my other videos, you've probably learned that I've been in a million unhealthy relationships. So I have a pretty, pretty good barometer for what good and bad relationships actually look like. So without further ado, let me explain to you why my relationship is so awesome with my beautiful girlfriend, Tristan. And I know, I know what you're thinking right now. You're like, but Chris, you just think that. You're just saying that because that's your girlfriend, right? Okay, well, before you cop to judgment, how about you sit back, relax, and watch this video and let me explain a few things to you. So the first thing is, the first thing is, is the amount of support that Tristan gives me on a regular basis. Like, this is probably, I think, the, the number one thing that any relationship should have is just support, right? Where you're, you're two different people, but you're coming together, and no matter what that person's passion is or what they're into, you encourage it, you help nurture it, you get excited when they get excited. Like, she gets so excited. Like, sometimes I get a text message from her, which is already exciting, but she'll tell me like, hey, Chris, you got, you got some more subscribers. And like, she legitimately gets excited for what I'm doing here on YouTube. But aside from that too, you know, even though she's not in the mental health field, like she used to actually work at a psych ward. And by the way, leave comments down below if you want her to do a guest video about real stories from the psych ward because they are bananas. But anyways, like anytime I do mental health events here in Las Vegas, she is there 100% of the time. I remember last year there was this mental health event that we got invited to and it was such a bust. Like nobody showed up and we literally sat there for like hours, like in the wind. And she was just there. She was just there with me, supporting what I do. She shows up to every single one. And when I do things at work for my drug and alcohol rehab, she is right there with me, supporting 1000% everything that I do. But also she has passions of her own and I encourage and I support her. Like she's, she's an artist, okay? And by the way, quick plug, Go check her out on Instagram. Her Instagram page is tag.doodles, right? And she has always blown me away with her art. And recently she's been drawing pictures of different YouTubers like Shane Dawson, one of our favorites, uh, Elvis the Alien. Um, she also did Jordan Shrinks. And she also has drawn some people's pets and things like that. So go check her out on Instagram and go ahead and follow her. And you tell me if I'm crazy that her artwork isn't just purely amazing. She also does some spooky stuff, but uh, yeah, I'll talk about that in a second. But anyways, I support and I encourage her. Like that is what a healthy relationship looks like is we both have our individual passions and we we help each other build them up and and pursue them, right? Like my, my one thing in life and what I try to do with my channel that I don't emphasize in life uh, enough, I just want people to do things that they love that makes them the happiest. So I love seeing that my girlfriend's able to do that with her artwork. And I love that she loves me seeing how I succeed with doing my mental health stuff. So one of her best qualities that a lot of people don't like to admit is that my girlfriend, Tristan, has no problem calling me out on my crap. And like, this is something that I think is huge for anybody. Like I am, as you know, an addict in recovery. And one of the things that, you know, keeps addicts in addiction is enabling, right? But this, is, this goes much bigger. This goes much bigger. I often say the best people in your support group are people who tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. And she has absolutely no problem when calling me out, like when I'm being a jerk or when I'm thinking of something stupid or I wanted to do some stuff with my YouTube channel and she's like, I don't think that's a good idea, you know, and all these things. She has no problem calling me out on that. And like, I need that. I absolutely need that. And some people would get offended by it, you know, and oh, you don't support me. But I, I recognize that everything she, she calls me out on, it's always from a place of love and with the best intentions. And by the way, I will make this side note, if it wasn't for Tristan, 
I probably would have bombed this YouTube channel a long time ago with some of the wacky ideas that I had. So I, I love having her around to kind of bounce these ideas off of and, and see what she thinks about them. Now, don't get me wrong, there are some things that I've done, you know, contrary to what she thought, and thank God it didn't explode my channel and make it go away, but, you know, she, she still supports me in whatever I do. So one of the other things that I love, which I think is also part of a healthy relationship, is, is that we, me and her, we don't have that much in common. Like, I think one of the biggest misconceptions out there in the dating world, and I will do a dedicated video on this, is people think that you have to find like an identical clone of you in order to have a healthy relationship, which is, which is absolutely crazy. Like for me, that would end up in the most boring, dull relationship ever. Like you both like the same things. Like how are either of you ever gonna grow or be introduced to new things? I will make one side note. She doesn't like Star Wars and that's, that's probably her biggest flaw. Probably the biggest flaw. But again, she supports my love of Star Wars. So I can handle that. But anyways, one of the best parts about her being into different types of music, different types of movies and things like that, she's constantly introducing me to new things, new foods. And, uh, and yeah, like with movies, like for those of you who don't know, fun fact about Chris, I hate scary movies. I hate them. But like she, she pushes me and she, she has me watch them with her. And I've actually started to enjoy them. And like the last like scary movie that we saw in theaters was like the new Insidious movie. And oh boy, oh boy. But she's there to cuddle me and hold my hand and take my hands away from my eyes and things like that. But I love that we don't have that much in common because we're constantly exposing each other to new things that we end up liking and enjoying. And then we have a new thing that we can do together. It's really, really cool. So the next thing is, is that we don't always agree. Like I don't want to put it out there that we have this like, perfect relationship i don't think any of them are but we don't always agree hey if i'm being quite honest like me and her are both uh we both have very strong opinions about things but if i was being 100 percent honest with you we've been dating for over a year now and i think we only got in like one real argument and it lasted for like i don't know like 10 or 20 minutes and the reason why we don't really fight or argue that much even though we're both um very uh you know set in our ways and have these strong opinions and stuff like that, is that we're both very self-aware. You know what I mean? Like, we, we're self-aware and we don't have too much pride. We're able to turn to each other and say, hey, you know what, maybe you're right, maybe I was wrong. Or sometimes we just let some stuff go. Like, <laughs> me and her often joke around about how like, how we just don't care about so many stupid things that a lot of other couples and relationships do like these very small things like her and I are able to look at these different situations on a regular basis and I credit her a lot for this too but we can look at them and just be like is that really worth starting an argument over you know what I mean like she might disagree with something and I might disagree with her and then we're just like okay you got your opinion I got mine okay let's move forward like we don't hold on to anything like we might disagree for like two seconds and then like we're just off and on our way. Like I, I hope the, the moral of this video that you all got was like this is what, at least for me, you know, because I know this is very subjective. At least for me, this is what a healthy relationship looks like. This is literally the healthiest relationship I've ever been in. And I love this girl. You know what I mean? Like she makes me a better person on a regular basis. And like, I just love being around her, you know? So I wanna hear from all of you out there. I wanna hear from every single one out of, of you out there. Leave down in the comments below, all right? First is that thing I mentioned earlier. Try to talk Tristan into coming on here and talking about uh, crazy stories from working at a psych ward. But the other thing I want you to leave a comment about, like what, what does a healthy relationship look like to you? What is, what is a healthy relationship to you in your mind? I would love to see what your thoughts are. But anyways, Tristan, I love you, girl. I hope you enjoyed this video. Happy Valentine's Day. Mwah, mwah, mwah. All right. But everybody else out there, sorry for that little intimate moment, but everybody else out there, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. Make sure you click that little round subscribe button. I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental health. All right. And if you want to check out some other videos, you can click or tap right there. That is my whole relationship playlist. If you want to figure out how to have healthier relationships and stop getting into terrible ones, check that playlist out. 
below that is another video. All right. But as always, thank you so much for watching. Happy Valentine's Day. I'll see you next time.